Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be covering Thomas Edison State University and how as an international student, you're able to get an online bachelor's degree for about $17,000 in about two years. 17K might sound like a lot of money, but as an international student getting an undergrad degree from the United States, you can probably expect to pay something around $25,000 a year or at least $100,000 for your whole undergrad degree, not counting living expenses and all of that. So 17K is not really that bad. Of course, you can still do this as a normal US citizen living inside the US, but this video is kind of geared more toward international students. But if you're a US citizen living in the US and you want to get a nice, affordable, quality bachelor's degree, I might recommend checking out these videos where I talk about kind of the same strategy, but with a different college called Western Governors University. I'll be covering Thomas Edison State University accreditation. I'll be talking about a few of their different online programs. I'll talk about how you can transfer credits in from study.com, allowing you to complete the degree for cheaper and just go over the overall strategy and cost. I'm going to use a really nice spreadsheet and break everything down and make it really, really easy to understand. So if you get tired of me talking, just go ahead and skip to this timestamp and we'll jump right into the spreadsheet. This video took me a long time to research and make. I even like called Thomas Edison. I talked to somebody from their enrollment to get like extra information. So please consider liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it a lot. So before we get started, just a disclaimer. I don't personally have a degree from Thomas Edison. I have three degrees from Western Governors University, which is kind of similar. And I kind of did a similar strategy on that school. And I have a bunch of different videos on Western Governors and the whole reason reason I'm making this video because so many people were asking if WGU accepts international students, so I decided to make this video. They do have a whole bunch of degree programs, and it looks like their on-campus programs are separated from their online programs, but the online ones are really, really decent. They have some nice stuff in there, including computer science and some other cool things. Thomas Edison State University is accredited, and they use a whole bunch of different accrediting bodies, and it looks like it kind of depends on the degree program which accrediting body applies. So if you're someone who cares about that, or if you have a specific degree in mind, I might look into that a little bit deeper just to make sure it's something you're okay with. You can also go to LinkedIn and look up Thomas Edison State University graduates and kind of check out the different jobs that they're working. You can see there's a lot of nice respectable jobs in here like software engineer and things like that. So getting right into how to greatly reduce the cost of your bachelor's degree from Thomas Edison as an international student. So Thomas Edison allows you to transfer up to 90 credits externally into your degree program. There are a few credits that you have to complete from Thomas Edison State University like within their program, but you can transfer a very large chunk externally into the actual program. And we're going to take advantage of this and get some less expensive credits from study.com, transfer them in, and then kind of complete the rest of the credits inside of Thomas Edison State University to finish your bachelor's degree. And I will say if you already have some college credits, like maybe you went to community college or you partially did a degree somewhere else, that's going to help you out even more because you more than likely can transfer those credits in as well. And the idea is after you complete as many courses as you can from study.com and then transfer in any college that you might have as well, you just simply register at Thomas Edison State University, pay a flat rate tuition, just finish the rest of the program as fast as you can. So hopping right into the spreadsheet where we really break things down, what you're looking at here is basically all of the classes that are required to graduate with their degree in IT from Thomas Edison. I just got these classes from their degree program page right here and threw them into this spreadsheet. So basically, the whole idea and the whole way to save time and money on this is instead of just completing all of these classes from Thomas Edison, we complete as many as we can from study.com because study.com is way cheaper. Um, study.com is essentially about $200 a month for two classes, but if you use this 30% discount code, it's only like $140 for like the first three months of doing this. It's way cheaper than Thomas Edison. So the idea is, you complete as many of these classes from study.com as you can. And then whatever is left over from transferring in study.com and then any other college you have, you essentially complete those within Thomas Edison and then finish your degree. So what that looks like is, for instance, these are all the classes we have. And these are the ones from study.com that satisfy these. So for example, if you take this class at study.com, it satisfies this class from Thomas Edison, and you essentially don't have to take that class. And if you're wondering how long classes take to complete at study.com, it really depends. I took a couple of difficult ones, like I took discrete mathematics one and data structures and algorithms one, and each each one of those took me about a week, which is probably probably about like 30 to 40 hours. So it really, it really depends on you know, how much time you spend. But for me, it was about a week per class, something like that, just to give you an idea. So what that will look like is we can say clear these and select blanks. So once we complete 
all the classes from study.com. This is essentially like all we have left. And if you're into CLEP, CLEP is essentially kind of I don't want to say the same thing. It's really similar though, where you can take a class and it will essentially give you credit to satisfy something. So for example, you you take um, you know, you decide to take this as well, like this, and that reduces classes even more. So in the end, you only have 16 more courses left from that you need to take at Thomas Edison State University. And assuming it took you a year to finish study.com, that's like it's gonna be on average less than two hundred dollars a month. So it's probably around We'll just be conservative and say that study.com maybe costs around $2,400 for a year. It'll be slightly less than this if you use the discount code. So that's $2,400 from study.com. And then the cost of tuition uh, from Thomas Edison kind of depends, but they do have a flat rate tuition of about $4,800 per quarter, I believe. And a quarter is about three months. Maybe it's about, it's like 10 or 11 weeks. You might want to double check that, but it's about three months. So $4,800 per quarter. And then assuming you, you can go like pretty fast and finish these in three quarters, that's essentially 4,800 times three plus 2,400, which will be the total cost of your degree. So 4,800 times three plus 2,400 for study.com that ends up being about $16,800 or about $17,000 for your whole degree. And just a reminder, this video is specifically for the IT degree. Thomas Edison has a whole bunch of other bachelor's degrees, and some of these allow you to transfer even more credits from study.com than the IT degree does. The more credits you're able to transfer in, the cheaper and potentially faster the degree, the degree is going to be in the end. Also, I want to say I do have this video here that does like much more of a deep dive into study.com and how to use it to save a lot of money. And I do want to say again, just as a reminder, if you're already a U.S. citizen like living in the U.S., WGU might be a cheaper option. So go ahead and check out this video as well. Also, don't forget to use the study.com discount code if you're interested in doing this. It's definitely going to save you a decent amount of money in the long run. And if I made any mistakes in this video, please let me know. I'll definitely pin it in the comment section down below. Yeah, thanks for watching.